recently I played a variety of new demos during Steam Next Fest. I was excited to find Shikondo Yokai Rampage, as I truly enjoyed the previous game, Shikondo Soul Eater. Reading the description for the demo, I learned that Shikondo Yokai Rampage adds an additional level, a boss rush mode, hardcore mode, and a dual mode. I remember that there was an arcade release of the game with upgraded visuals and balancing under the name Shikondo Red Purgatory. I figured that this new release must be related to the developer wanting to share the content with PC and console gamers, but I learned there was more to the story while researching for this video. I learned that Shikondo Soul Eater was delisted on all digital platforms after Digirati and East Asia Soft, the game's two publishers in both the West and the East, lost the rights to the game when their publishing agreement expired at the end of March last year. I purchased a physical copy, which I did an unboxing video on. See the link on the screen and in the video description. This type of delisting due to expiring rights, often related to licensed music, is the precise reason I prefer to own physical copies of my games. Shikondo Yokai Rampage is being self-published by the game's Korean developer, Deer Farm. This greatly reduces my concerns for any future delisting of this new title. The visuals definitely appeared at a higher graphical fidelity on my PC. I love the detailed art style with sinister spirits and other hand-drawn monstrosities attacking the player. Both the Grim Reaper and the Girl return to this game. As in the previous title, the Grim Reaper has a wider blast radius for her normal attack as opposed to the Girl who has satellites and a narrow firing radius. My favorite mechanic of the series is the Soul System. By steering close to enemy fire, you can charge the Soul System. Timing your attack during a barrage of bullets, you can unleash all of the souls of the enemies you've defeated by triggering a bomb called a Soul Attack. This gives the player a risk-reward factor in strategizing the attacks. The greater the danger by grazing the bullets, the longer the soul attack lasts and the greater the damage. This is the most useful for clearing a screen full of attacking enemies or counter-attacking a boss that is raining down bullets across the screen. A new mode I enjoyed playing was the dual mode. It allows you to play as both the Grim Reaper and the girl simultaneously. For normal attacks, your character is the Grim Reaper, giving you the advantage of the wider spread shot. When firing a focus attack, your character switches to the girl with her narrower and more powerful stream of bullets. I found this to be a novel and interesting way to play the game. I easily cruised through the demo on story mode and normal difficulty. Switching to hard and extreme mode, I barely made it through the first boss, so I think Deer Farm did a great job of making the game accessible to different skill levels. The game's rocking soundtrack from the previous title returned to the demo. It serves to accentuate the sheer frenzy of a bullet hell limbo infested with mythological beasts. I enjoyed the demo and I look forward to the release of the full game in the second quarter of 2024. Should there be a physical release, I will definitely get a copy, but I do like the idea of playing the game on my Steam Deck too.